what would you do to further transparency in government? Morning, Ben. And uh, that question is, is a very good one for us because uh, the PPM, the progressives as we know now, uh, was the party back in 2005 that ushered in the whole uh, government in the sunshine philosophy, uh, the freedom of information, along with um, many other uh, initiatives on our part to, to make government more transparent. So it's something that we believe in strongly. The team that we have now certainly has bought into that concept. We think that it's the people's right to know. And uh, everything that we do in government is done on the people's behalf. So within reason, they should know what's going on. Without a doubt, the cost of living and jobs on an internal front and externally, uh, the, the state of the world economy. Um, I have been around now for four election campaigns personally, and I have never seen it this tough for our people. There are so many people now that are struggling, really, really struggling to put food on the table, to pay their utilities, and just need a, need a hand up. I mean, the people are without jobs. There are jobs out there that, that a lot of people can do. There was a time when the Caymanians who weren't working really didn't want to work or were those who simply like to move from job to job. These days we have genuine unemployment in the country and Ben, we have to do something about that. Well, independent candidates is, is a bit of a, a misnomer because the truth is independent candidates um, what are they really what are they really about to form a government you need a group when you get a bunch of independents let's say you get 10 independents and they all come to the table with different ag agendas different ideas it's going to be very difficult to pull that together at the last moment and make a viable government a government is going to stick together because you're going to have everyone you know climbing and, and trying to outdo the other it, it is only natural, and I think that the UDP government really has, has not done Cayman any favors by making party politics look bad, because they were anything but a good party. The, the way they operated, they operated really as a one-man show, and the rest of the guys sat around and let the premier do as he pleased. They, a party politics is about a system, an organization in your own home. You have system, you have an organization, you have the head of the household. In a business, you have the board of directors that people are accounted, ac accountable for too. And uh, you know, organization is crucial. People of Bonn Town, you know me. Um, I was there for you 2005 to 2009, and you know the representation that I gave to you. I worked extremely hard in that four-year period to not only be accessible and be there for you on each and every occasion, but there was so much that was brought to Bonton Town. Even though I was a regular MLA at Backbencher at the time, I made sure and I fought tooth and nails. And my, my, guy, my colleagues always said that I wanted everything for Bonton Town, and I said, yes, I make no excuse because Bonton Town has been neglected in the past, and we need to make sure that Bonton Town gets its fair share. Right now, it has stagnated again. There's not a lot that's happened in the last four years, or three and a half years, and we need to make sure that Bonton Town, again, gets the kind of development. We are looking at bringing uh, commerce and economic strength back to Bonton Town, put in people that are around there in jobs that are doing nothing at the moment, and people know that they can reach Osborne Bodden, that Osborne Bodden is accessible to them. I'm a businessman in the district. I have a vested interest in making sure that Bodden Town does well. So I don't think there's any doubt. In hindsight now, I think there are a lot of, there's a lot of regret that I wasn't reelected. But be that as it may, I never stopped being involved. I've always been involved in Bodden Town's uh, development as a community person and as an MLA. So I'm looking forward for 2013 May to be back there to serve you, the people of Bodentown, once more, hopefully this time as a minister.